nobody gets enlisted in the army without proper training and proper equipping for war. The rod of the supernatural. He said, drop the rod. And as he picked it, he became a mighty rod. Now go to Exodus 4.17. That's where I'm going to. Exodus 4.17. Remember he dropped the rod and what did God say there? 17. What do you see there? And thou shalt take this rod in thy hand. Wherewith thou shalt do signs. The rod in your hand become a tool for signs and wonders. The team of this meeting is empowered for signs and wonders. So I want to show you there is a rod for signs and wonders. He said, that rod in your hand, it will become a rod for signs. And you will do signs with that rod. So the question is, should you go and cut a stick? After this service, you should go and cut a stick and say, Pastor said, the rod. <laughs> and bring it to church Sunday morning and say, the rod for signs. <laughs> Hallelujah. After this service, now maybe you cut, maybe there is one cashew tree in your house. Or I, I want you just cut it and say the rod for science and wonder. So I was also thinking that maybe I should go and cut wood and call it the rod until God showed me what the rod means. Isaiah chapter 11. Let's start from verse 1. The rod. The answer to the rod is in this scripture. Let's see, want to go. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse. And a branch shall grow out of his roots. A rod out of the stem of Jesse. Now, verse 2. Let's see who is the rod. What is the rod? And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. Wait. How can the how can rod become him? Grammatically, if it is a rod, it should be it. But they are telling us the rod is not a thing, it's a person. The rod is not an object. It's a being. He said, the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. Number two, the spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might. The spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. Verse three, and shall make him of a quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. And shall not judge after the sight of his eyes. Neither reproof after the year of his years. Next verse. But with righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove with equity for the meek of the head. And he shall smart the head with the rod of his mouth. And with the bread of his lips shall he slay the wicked. Meaning the rod is in his mouth. Can I ask you a question? Who is the rod? Who is the rod? I can't hear you. Jesus. Who is the rod? But now they call Jesus the rod and they said the rod is in his mouth. Oh my God. They said Jesus is the rod and now they are telling us that that rod, even though he is a rod, there is a rod in his mouth. What is in the mouth of Jesus? What is in the mouth of Jesus? The word. Psalm 107 verse 20. Reveals the, the answer to us. Psalm 107 verse 20. Show me that scripture. Psalm 107 verse 20. What do you see there? He sent his word and healed them and delivered them. What is the rod of signs and wonders? The word. Why was Jesus called the word? John 1 1. In the beginning was the world. The world was with God. And God was the world. The same was with God in the beginning. All things were made by him. 
and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men, and that light shines in darkness, and darkness cannot comprehend it. Anytime you want to do science and wonder, send the word. Mommy, ma, the reason why your battle persists is that you are quiet. The reason why your life is not looking like your expectation is that you are quiet. Because the road for signs and wonders is Jesus, and Jesus is the word. So he says, drop the rod, pick it. With, with, with it, you shall do signs and wonders. Meaning, anywhere you send the word is your signs and wonders code. Those who are quiet never make it in life. Those who we do exploit, we always speak. Let the weak say, I'm strong. Not let the weak think I'm strong. Let the poor say, if you are quiet, you'll be quieted. Silence forever. One thing on bad He said, by the word of God, we know by faith, we know that the word were framed by the words of God. Now, how did God create the word in the beginning? God said, God said, God said, God said, then God saw. When God said, He saw. If God said and saw, how will you see? Is God your father? I said you are a bastard. My best food is pounded jam because I'm an ekiti man. Uh, no wonder. Okay, okay. <laughs> Mommy said, why did I love this boy so much? I didn't know that. So. Hello, sir. If I am Igbo, will I like pounded jam like this? Uh, answer me. Oh. Why? It is what they used to train me that I will like. Uh oh, are you still here? Yeah. I have never eaten some soup. I've never eaten chow before. So I can't say it's my best food. Uh, okay, that is Amala. Now, that, that man there, we will go to eat. He will be asking, is there Amala? He came from Ibadan. So he will be asking for Amala and Abula. He, 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 we go to shop right. He's asking for Amala and, and, and Abula. Because that is his configuration. Are, are you with me? If he has not eaten what I'm, what I'm used to, will he like it? If your father is a word and you are from the family of the word, what you will say is the word. So, if your father created everything by speaking, you can't create anything by looking. Why are we here this morning? Our signs and wonders is in our mouth. If only you can release it this morning. Can I ask you a question? People that destroy people, what do they do? Eh, eh? Have you watched like African magic now? They say, Shego, 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 Oya, Padasi, Nigeria. And the guy in UK will just get angry. I'm going home. Kilo Shere, Munlole. Where are you going? Munlole. Until he lands in Nigeria, I won't be fine. Are you with me? They sent a word. You to send your word. If the word of Satan is powerful, how much more the word of God? He said the word of God is quick and powerful. Sharper! You think your word is weak? We overcame by the blood of the Lamb. And by what? The word of our testimony. Why are you quiet? Your daughter is not doing well. You are crying. Shut up. Wake up in the middle of the night and call her spirit. I speak over you. He said he sent forth his word. Meaning the word is sendable. He cannot miss it. A boss is oppressing you in the office. You are crying. No. Wake up in the night. Send the word. Send the word. Your battle is too fierce. Your business is not selling. Somebody is using juju water to make sure your customers doesn't come and you are crying. Wake up in the night and begin to call. 
Seven. First John five seven. First John five seven. Let's read. There are three that bears record in heaven. Who are they? The Father, the Word. Did they mention Jesus? Because the Word is His name. Meaning in heaven, what they recognize is the Word. They don't recognize complaining. Hey. What they recognize in heaven? The Father, the Word. They don't recognize your tears. Only one child. What is it? God is saying, my daughter, keep quiet. Talk. God is saying, wipe your tears. Talk. Say, oh, keep moving, shame by you. That's not prayer. God is saying, keep quiet. What do you do? Speak. Your God is a speaking God. You can't be a quiet daughter. That is the rod of sense and wonders. Anything I want, I call it. He said, death and life are in the power of the tongue. The world. The world. That is a rod. It's in his mouth. Many of you don't know you have a rod. Today's it's time to use it. Now, when you now combine your rod with a sword, it becomes explosion. That is when you begin to say what he has said. For it is written. For it is written. Until you know what is written, you'll be written off. For it is written. A condition is oppressing you. Reply, for it is written. When Satan came to tempt Jesus, what did he do? He said, for it is written. If Jesus used for it is written, you can't be quiet. Somebody said, Pastor, I can't remember the verse. Did Jesus say, for it is written, according to the Romans chapter 6, did the other said, he said, for quote it, he knows his word. In case you forget the verse and the chapter, don't worry, shall quote it. He suffered no man, you are you, you about to have accident. Somebody want to kill you. They say, hey, according to Psalm, 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 what is my python? He said, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yeah! He reproved kings for my sake. Say, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no Omoroe. Ah, Omoroe. <laughs> it is written. On lo ko. On lo so. On mo ngato on so. Don't say me I, I forgot. Don't bother what you forgot. Just send it. 